as uh, we return, it's coming, uh, and you can get all the details. Uh, we'll put it in the show notes at rickandbubba.com. It's called the Champion Shootout, and uh, this is uh, obviously in different locations, but this one coming April the 28th at Legacy Arena, the BJCC. That's Birmingham Market. For those of you listening on 104.7 WZZK, uh, semifinal number one, McEnroe takes on Courier, and semifinal number two, Roddick will battle Marty Fish, and Marty Fish joins us now. Marty, Marty. welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you, buddy? What's up, guys? How's it going? Well, we just we're trying to get fired up about the the champion shootout. Now, you probably have heard of Bill Bubba Bussy if you're mm-hmm. in tennis. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm sure Marty, he, they overplay this just slightly. His name precedes him. Mm-hmm. The impact he's had on your tennis community. <laughs> he, he's infamous. I've heard uh, a lot about him. Um, what is he? He's a high school tennis coach. Are you? Yes, that is correct. Yep. Speedy so he, did a good job filling you in. Head coach. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> no. <laughs> Volunteer assistant. Runs the program. Yep. Um, so, Marty, glad to have you on the show. Listen, we're glad that you're back on the tennis court playing tennis. We've missed you for a few years. Well, I appreciate that. It's good to uh, it's good to play again, and these, these events are, are super fun because you can uh, – uh, one of the reasons why I like them, apart from just uh, being able to be, uh, you know, playing with my friends and stuff like that, Andy and James and – and those boys is uh, is cr- kind of crossing generations with uh, with some of the guys that you um, that you weren't able to compete against uh, on the court. And so you know, someone like John McEnroe, obviously, our our careers never crossed paths. So um, you know, so it's nice to nice to get on the court with with a legend like that. And 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 you know, you watch so much on TV and and see so much about. You know some of the old uh, uh, videos of him and Connors and McEnroe and 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 you know all these guys and it's just so much fun to to kind of get on the court and and compete with them. Marty, are you blowing leaves or getting your hair cut? <laughs> that, something was in the background there. What was that? I I am um, I'm sitting here uh, in the parking lot of a uh, a, a uh, breakfast place and there's a guy that's. Uh, <laughs> that is blowing leaves underneath <laughs> and literally I'm not, I can't even make it up. He was blowing leaves like way over, way over about 50 yards away. And then I started the phone call and he starts creeping over and I'm like, don't come over here. Don't come over. And then I can't even make it up. He, he takes, he takes the thing and he puts it underneath the car. And oh, goes, my God. It sounded, it sounded like you were getting a haircut and you were in the chair. <laughs> yeah. Literally. I can't make it up. I apologize for that. That's all right. I mean, I'd like to get out of the car and tell him to move right now. But yeah, Well, look, the, here's the good news. No more leaves under your car, I'll tell you that. <laughs> now, and for those of you that may not follow tennis closely, uh, Marty has been uh, as high as number seven in the world, uh, has six titles, and has career winnings a little over $7 million. But it, it gets away quick with all the costs, doesn't it, Marty? <laughs> um. I live in LA. That, that cut that in, uh, <laughs> you know, take about sixty percent of that out, and then I got a wife that's born and bred in Beverly Hills, nine hundred two one zero. So cut another thirty out wow. of that, and uh, I have about five dollars to my name. <laughs> Marty, you, listen, you're you're very popular, and you have a group that follows you called the Fishheads. And I, are are they still making the rounds now on the Power Share series? <laughs> I don't see them much in the Power Shares anymore, but. Um, God, it'd be nice to get some out there in Birmingham. Right, look, we can start that well, up for you. Don't you worry about that. Marty, I, I've noticed since you brought up your wife, your wife has quite a fan base. She got, You know, it's funny. Uh, the first time that I hung out with her, I she actually got recognized. I was blown away. She actually got recognized more than I did because <laughs> um, that, that show, Deal or No Deal, was so popular. And, and she got – she like people would come up and go, hey, yeah, yeah, I've seen you on that show. And I'm, I was blown away. My jaw was dropping. I'm like, what about me? Right. Playing tennis and, <laughs> You're a tennis champion, and she was a suitcase <laughs> model, and more people recognize her. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, crazy. you know where it usually happened, I bet, in baggage claim. Yeah. Okay. The, the, Probably. When they saw her pick that the, case, she up. picked that suitcase up. They, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> now, do you? Do, does she ever? You. <laughs> does she ever play any tennis, Marty? Have you have you taught her how to play? No, uh, she played. She claims she played in high school, although uh, that's uh, yet to be determined. Oh, um, really? Uh, you haven't seen the proof of that? Apparently, they played. Apparently, they played like her and her sister played like two and three on the high school tennis team. She said about four tennis balls since we've been together. So I can't, <laughs> I can't confirm that. 
Well, okay. Marty, the PowerShare series, and, and, and I, I have to, to give Jim Courier credit. He has done so much to help promote tennis over the years. Uh, great guy, smart guy. And, and I'll be honest with you, we recently had the Davis Cup here in Birmingham, and while it was a great event, the, there was a lot of talk about the PowerShare series coming uh, this, uh, this April and a lot of excitement because most of us grew up watching you, Courier, McEnroe, and Roddick play. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you know, look, it comes in waves, right? Ameri- you know, you're gen- the generational tennis, and, and, you know, unfortunately myself and, and James Blake and Andy Roddick were the guys in sort of our generation that, that made the top ten. Obviously, Andy, first ballot Hall of Famer. And, um, you know, and we came after the generation of Curry, Ag- Courier, Agassi, Sampras, you know, Connor, uh, you know, uh, uh, Martin, and, and, you know, obviously before them, McEnroe and Connors and all these guys. And, and it's hard to come after that generation. And so we got a, a bum rap for, uh, you know, for, for not competing for Grand Slams tournament in, tournament out. And, and, you know, as Americans and, and we were good play, you know, we were good players, but um, that generation is almost impossible to come after. And, you know, and now, and now we've got a few guys that John Isner was in the top 10 for a little bit. And, and, and now we don't have anyone in the top 20. And, and, um, you know, so it's hard to, it, it, it comes in waves. And now, now we've got under, un, I think the number is 21 and under, we've got eight guys in the top 200, uh, 20 at the age 21 and under. So, um, we, they're coming right now. And, uh, you know, and so it, it goes in waves, like I said, and, 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 you know, we played, uh, you know, we played at a high level and Andy played at a really high level. And obviously the guys before us and we got McEnroe there and he's just such, so polarizing and he's still, you know, and he's still relevant cause he, you know, cause he's still, yeah he still commentates and he does all that, you know, does all that commentating stuff. And, and, and I really enjoy his commentating. And so it's, you know, it's, it's always fun listening to him and he's still involved in the game and, you know, so, so it's, it's a blast, man. And it's, it's, it's super fun. And you get some names that, uh, uh, you know, that, that people have heard of and, and that they, they remember watching and, and, you know, so of our generation, Andy Roddick was the alpha male. And, and so, you know, he played when he played American tennis followed. You know, the thing about John McEnroe, Marty, that's so amazing to me, the, po- the Power Share series was in our town back, and it was McEnroe's, I mean, it was uh, Roddick's first stop after he'd retired off the tour. Now, he, I mean, he's, he's nine months removed from one of the greatest matches ever against Roger Federer at Wimbledon. His first Power yep. Share stop, he plays McEnroe, and McEnroe plays him. I mean, point for point, uh, John. Uh, I mean, uh, Andy ended up breaking him and then serving out to win like six four. But McEnroe's such a smart player. Even at his age and as long as he's been away from the game, he played Andy Roddick right down to the wire, which was amazing to me and just shows how smart he is because he did. He definitely didn't have the shots to stay with Andy. Well, yeah. I mean, look, he he's the best one of the greatest tennis players ever. And he's, and he's the best. How old is he now? 50. I don't want to cut him short. Let's just call him 55 right now. He's older than that. 55 year old. Well, let's call him 57 then. (laughs) He's the best 57 year old ever um, without, without question. And, and when I say he plays a lot of tennis, I mean, he plays eight days a week. uh, We hit with Milos Raonic um, the other day, one of my guys. And, uh, I asked him how it was because he uh, he hired him for a month last uh, last June and July for uh, Wimbledon and uh, Milos had a great run there, won Queens and made the final of Wimbledon and he was telling me about his coaching style and how how involved he was and how involved he was in today's game and he said man he loved to get out there and play he said he would he would he would jump in all the time and just hit and say you know oh I can't find a hitter for you I'm gonna hit against you you know and like so he he still wants to play and play at the level um, of, of all of all the guys that are playing now. And he's still, you know, he's still like, if, if I guarantee you, if, if, you know, Roger Federer came to him or maybe not even someone as, as, as high as him, it's, you know, someone that he felt that he could do well in a doubles tournament, he'd say yes. And he'd play and he'd still play. And because he thinks that he can still compete and, uh, and he can, and, and, you know, his unique style of play where he's, 
you know, that lefty serve and volley mm-hmm. and he's just his hands. He's got the greatest volleys of all time, maybe the greatest hands of all time and feel and just such a unique player that still, it still works out there today. And, 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 you know, it's, it's so fun to watch and he's so fun to watch. And like I said, you know, he's just so polarizing the way he, you know, and he's, he's crazy. I mean, like he really, he really like, he, you know, he, he gets a bad call in these, in these things. And, he's, you know, it doesn't really matter. Like if you win or lose these things, we're trying to put on a good show and we're trying to compete and play against each other and beat each other, but it doesn't really matter win or lose. And, and he's, you know, he, he really, he really is that pissed and that upset. When Hell he yeah. A bad line call. yeah. He don't have like, to that's fake not it. A show, man. Uh, that's he's not still, a show. He still got that fire. Yeah, he does. Uh, Marty, thanks for being it's with us. I don't know how he still got the knees. That's what I don't All right, fish heads, go to martytennis.com and let him know you're going to be there. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, you, you, can, go. you can get your tickets right now at ticketmaster.com or, and also find out information to get tickets at powershareseries.com. April 28th, Legacy Arena, the BJCC, Birmingham. Don't miss uh, when this uh, this tournament comes. Thank you, Marty. Thanks, Marty. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.